Hello. Welcome to the Apple Training Institute webinar, which will give you uh, lots of information um, about the Training Institute in January. I'm Susie Bruce. I'm Director of the Gordy Center in the Apple Training Institute. And joining me, and I'm Holly Deering, the Program Manager. So over the course of the next few months, you'll be receiving um, lots of emails from us and information. And we're excited uh, that you'll be joining us. Um, some new schools, some returning schools. Um, just to let you know, um, this was in the email. We will we are recording the webinar, and we will make that available to you next week. All team contacts will receive an email with a link to the webinar that you can pass along um, to your the rest of your team. So getting started, just to give you a little background in case you're not familiar with it. Um, Apple uh, was created at the University of Virginia um, 28 years ago almost um, from our very first conference. Uh, if you are a Division II school, we had our first Division II only Apple conference back in 2015. We'll be having our third one um, next year. We've um, changed our name to the Apple Training Institute a year ago really to recognize that this is more than just a conference. It is um, a curriculum, um, a training model, um, and hopefully uh, that's a, a way of better representing what happens um, over the course of the weekend. If you didn't already know, we are funded substantially. About 90% of the cost of the Training Institute is funded um, from an annual grant from the NCAA. Um, we have two conferences every January, and it is open to all NCAA member schools. We are full in Orlando with a waiting list. Um, we always try to get a couple schools off the waiting list. Um, if that might be one of the places you're in or you've got other uh, colleagues. We do have a few spaces left, though, in Charlottesville. We want to recognize our educational partners. As we mentioned, the NCAA has been supporting the Apple model since uh, we created it back in 91 in our home here at the University of Virginia. Uh, we work closely with the University of North Carolina at Greensboro and their Institute to Promote Athlete Health and Wellness. One of their programs is My Playbook, which many of you may be using as part of your alcohol education within your athletics department. Team Coalition that does quite a bit around drunk driving prevention uh, related to athletics, and also the Center for Drug-Free Sport, which provides uh, drug testing and education um, for the NCAA for all championships and a number of schools um, use them for their in-house drug testing as well. So what can you expect coming to Apple? Uh, the main thing that we do is focus on education, empowering student athletes to t have a voice and to be engaged in substance abuse prevention. And then we support you. We provide coaching for the next year following uh, the Apple Training Institute. The focus clearly is on alcohol, tobacco, and other drug abuse, um, shortened to ATOD. Um, it's a team-based approach. And then we also look at other mental health issues um, that come up as a result. The Apple model, we will go into great detail um, on Saturday of the Training Institute. But basically, there are seven different areas where we can impact substance abuse prevention within athletics. Everything beginning with the recruitment, those expectations and attitudes that you project maybe through your website, through your hosting, um, all the way through sanctioning and referral and counseling for a student athlete that may have a significant um, substance use disorder. We have some specific learning outcomes. We measure these through pre and post tests. And we can say that these are the things that will happen. We've got data from 28, 27 years now um, that really looks at how your team and your institution will improve as a result of the training institute and the follow-up. So not only will you learn about our Apple model, um, you will feel empowered to impact substance abuse problems. Your student athletes are going to develop leadership skills. You'll know a lot more about these topics. And you will leave with a clearly defined, measurable action plan. We will focus on your strengths and weaknesses in substance abuse prevention. You're going to get a ton of ideas over the course of the weekend. Um, you can share those ideas and resources. We love having returning schools share 
uh, the great things that they've done as a result of attending Apple in the past. We give you examples of policies, of programs. We've got a great lineup of speakers. And again, you will have that individualized plan uh, that we will work with you uh, to how to implement change looking at what your campus culture is. So what do you need to do ahead of time, which is why we have this webinar uh, in October as you are beginning to put your team together. So the first step is definitely getting your team. Uh, you have until November 15th, so you've got about a month, to get your team members individual registration completed. So when you registered, the team contact received an email with a lot of information. Um, we have this uh, new online portal that we're really excited about that can help you track those things. So you will send that information out to your individual team members. They will register themselves. That way we know we have accurate information about any dietary needs or any kind of accommodations. We have everyone's name spelled correctly. Um, that is due November 15th so that we can get those rooming lists together and get everything to our hotels. As you saw when you registered, you need to have um, at least four, but no more than six members of your team. At least two of them may be student athletes. Overall, we have about 60% um, of attendees are student athletes. A lot of schools will bring four student athletes. Um, and two administrators. We think that's actually a great mix because you'll hear um, a variety of opinions. Um, you'll hear from a variety of different sports. You can bring kind of whoever makes sense on your campus. That might be uh, other athletics administrators, coaches, counselors, um, your faculty athletics representative. We've had deans of students. We've had um, associate ADs, health educators. But really, what makes sense for your campus who's already partnering with athletics, um, knowing you can expand your team when you get back, but who do you need in the room while you're at Apple? Make sure you're looking at a variety of different perspectives. Um, what are the skills? And are you representative? Um, so look at um, the mix of men and women, um, ethnicities. Does your campus team look like your school? So look at those kinds of things as you're looking at who you might want to invite to join you. Uh, a few other little uh, FAQs. Um, again, yes, um, you do have to have student athletes, but there's no additional requirement beyond that. Really focus on diversity and being representative. Um, try not to bring a student who's at the end of their eligibility and they're getting ready to graduate because with the training in January, they're not going to be around. Um, and we really look at this as a full year, year and a half process. So we want people who can um, really uh, focus um, and get things complete. If you have a team member drop out, let us know about those changes right away. You can just send an email to appleathletics um, at virginia.edu. That's the same email uh, that you received about this webinar. If possible, because this is, um, we do room people, um, in, we double up rooms. That's what's covered through our grant. Try to replace participants um, with another person of the same gender and role. So we will room male student athletes with another male student athlete or a female administrator with another female administrator. We realize that can't always work out, but we ask if possible. That's very helpful. You will be completing a baseline assessment. This helps us give you feedback about how well you are um, applying the Apple guiding principles. Please share this survey with other members of your athletics department administration. It is pretty detailed, and the more accurate you can be in your responses, the better the feedback that we provide to you when you're at Apple. Many discussions are based on these results, and it is confidential, and we do include a PDF, so that makes it easier to share. Again, that's also um, available due on November 15th. Please complete this online. Um, occasionally, we'll have someone who will mark up the PDF version and try to fax it to us or email a PDF, and we really need it in that online form. That's uh, very helpful to us in scoring it and getting you your results. 
If you are a returning school, we love to hear about your success. We have an entire breakout session track dedicated to returning schools sharing the great things that they have developed as a result of Apple. It could be a social norms marketing campaign, student athlete mentor program, any kind of educational outreach that your student athletes are engaged in. This is due on November 1st. Again, you've already received a link to that. It's also in the portal uh, for each of the team contacts. So you can get all that information through the portal. If you have something great that your student athletes have been engaged in, but it wasn't related to Apple, um, you can still submit those, but just be aware our priority is um, helping new schools see how an action plan one year can lead to success in a year. So a little bit about our two locations. You've already got your registration information. Please make sure you should not be contacting any of the hotels. Um, we take care of all of the hotel registration, which is why we need those names by November 15th. We get everything there, and then we pay a master bill um, for your hotel rooms for Friday and Saturday night. As far as getting there from airports, if you're traveling that way, um, in Charlottesville, there is a um, free shuttle from the hotel to the airport and back, and free parking. If you're going to be in Orlando, um, the, the Orlando Airport website provides you with some shuttle options. So that will be, um, that's not, there's not a free shuttle to that hotel. And we'll also add that if you, um, while hotel is covered on Friday and Saturday, if you need to come in early or stay late, please let us know and we will make those arrangements and you will pay us directly for it so, it ought, so you can get the conference rate. So again, you can email us about it. And there's a lot more information about the travel arrangements on our website, so check that out. So as we mentioned, the rooms through our grant is shared double occupancy hotel rooms. When um, someone fills out the individual registration process, they can indicate if uh, they have a preference for a roommate. So if you've got two female student athletes, they can list each other's names and we'll make sure that we room them together. We look at that very carefully. Um, we do have folks who occasionally want to have a single room. Uh, so that is an option. Again, let us know and we can get that information to you um, and there's an additional uh, charge. So you'll again, you'll pay us um, and we will ensure that you have that single room. And we're just charging you what the actual cost is uh, for that room at our two different locations. We do, the Wi-Fi is always a question. Um, we have free uh, internet in the meeting spaces and in the guest rooms. We will make you aware of those passwords uh, at registration. Both of our locations do have some athletic facilities available, uh, including pool. So bring a swimsuit if you want. And um, this is an important one, especially um, for your student athletes. Make sure each person has a debit or credit card to um, submit at the hotel to cover incidentals. So their card will not be charged. Everything is on our master bill. But if someone decides to rent a movie, that card will cover that or if they decide to get room service. So um, that keeps the conference from being billed for those things. But unfortunately, um, they're not going to be able to say, I promise I won't bill anything. Uh, they'll have to have that card available. So meals, we know that people who are well fed have a good time. So we have abundant food um, and lots of options. Um, everything is served buffet style, which allows us to have, accommodate a variety of uh, dietary needs. And we do provide some snacks on Saturday afternoon. With that said, if you know you've got a group that really likes to snack all day, you might want to bring a few things on your own. But we do try to have um, an abundance of food, including a hot, bre uh, hot breakfast. Um, again, with the individual registration, 
please make us aware of any dietary needs. Um, if there's um, something in particular, we work very closely uh, with the hotels. And if someone needs a, an individual meal, we always make sure that we can do that. So what do you need to bring? Uh, it's pretty casual. Um, so khakis, jeans um, are definitely appropriate. We realize this is an athletics conference. Um, bring your, bring lots of stuff with your school logos. Um, again, we mentioned the, the swimsuits and workout clothes. Uh, you see us, these are our t-shirts from last year. Um, you will be getting um, a shirt with this year's design on it. We do provide notebooks and pens for everyone. We do request that at least one person has um, a laptop or some sort of Wi-Fi enabled device because you will be completing evaluation and action plans online. Um, it's rare that we have a team that wouldn't have everyone <laughs> with one of those, but we just want to make sure uh, that you are aware of that. So what happens over the course of the weekend? Check-in. Um, we do ask that each team member come together uh, at check-in so we know that everyone is here. We get all the information out. There's a quick pretest, and then you get all your cool Apple swag, like your t-shirts. Uh, Check-in starts at 1.30 and ends at 4 because our first session begins at 4 o'clock on Friday. So as you are making travel arrangements, particularly if you're flying, make sure you give yourself enough time to get into the hotel and be available for that 4 p.m. session. If we, we also realize travel problems happen, it's January. So uh, as we get closer, we'll send those emails out, but just let us know. Um, if you're having travel challenges, and we'll, we'll work with you on that as well. We offer a variety of different um, keynotes and then also breakout sessions covering primarily alcohol, tobacco, and other drugs, but also sort of related topics as you see. Lots of opportunities for networking. We do have team photos. You'll see a couple of those interspersed in this presentation. And you'll get a chance to share ideas. And of course, we evaluate sessions. So here's our day by day. Those of you that have registered recently have not received our welcome brochure yet, but we will be mailing those out uh, next week to the schools that have um, registered in the past week or two. But here's a little preview. We have a pre-conference this year that's new. It's called We're All In. And it's about creating a culture of care in athletics. So our partners um, at the Institute to Promote Athlete Health and Wellness are offering this uh, both in Charlottesville and Orlando. So again, if you're interested in that, that's a separate registration and a separate fee, and that's a per person fee. Um, now that will cover um, hotel room double occupancy per person for Thursday night, since that starts early. And it ends in time for you to register and go to the 4 p.m. session on Friday. There's more information online, as well as links uh, that came in your original registration email. That will include Thursday night, breakfast, and lunch, and all of your training materials. So if you hadn't thought about that, look and see um, if that's something that you might be interested in. Your entire team does not need to attend this. Uh, so you, if you, you can look at some options and you can email us about that as well. And again, the deadline for that is November 15th. So Friday night, um, our keynote is Linda Hancock, who's been speaking at nearly every Apple that we've had. Um, gets amazing evaluations. Our student athletes and administrators just love her. Um, again, you'll start off with your check-in together. That first session is at 4 dinner at 5, and then that evening, um, Joe Geek, our founder, and I will talk about the foundations of the Apple model, give you some background on alcohol and athletic performance, followed by Linda, who will give you great ideas to take back to your campus. Saturday, you see some fun team photos here. We'll talk more about the Apple model, review your team-specific results for your campus, and the whole morning really is team meetings. So we break it up a lot, but we really want to have your student athletes talking about what's working well, what are some challenges. The afternoon is breakout sessions. Again, throughout the day, we'll have opportunities to take those team photos as a great way to remember the experience. 
And then we have some networking um, events in the evening. Sunday, um, that final team meeting where you'll be completing your, and submitting your action plan, uh, keynote addresses, and some ideas about how to be successful in the coming year. And of course, a post-test and some evaluation so that we can continue to improve. We've mentioned these team photos. That's through our partner with Team Coalition, so they're um, an opportunity to sign a pledge um, about not drinking and driving. You'll get a copy of your um, team photo framed and printed, and that's in return for submitting your action plan. And we'll also share an electronic copy so you can send that to all of your team members. So what happens after the weekend? So some of our expectations, make sure you're meeting. Um, we know that teams that meet within those first couple weeks following Apple are much more likely to be successful in implementing their action plan. We'll be asking schools to complete two online surveys. Um, if you came last year, your email will come out today. <laughs> You'll see the October survey coming out. That uh, allows us to report back to the NCAA and a lot of schools tell us that they love that accountability piece. The fact that they know we're going to be checking in helps them move their action plan along. If by chance you have a change in your team contact information, please just shoot us an email and we'll make sure we update that information. So we wanted to not just have us talk, but to give you some feedback um, we've received from past Apple team contacts. What was successful to them? How did they make change on their campus? And by far, the thing we hear the most is that administrators really recognize how powerful it is to actually be quiet and listen to the student athletes in the room. That's one of the biggest pieces of Apple and how schools are successful. Encouraging your team to be open. And the fact that you already have that commitment from your institution to come says that your institution, regardless of its challenges, is willing to make a change. And so build on that and you'll be successful. We encourage you to schedule a team meeting before you leave. Um, again, we'll go over all of this um, during the Training Institute. Um, and we will send out a full agenda in December and that'll help you prepare to figure out which sessions will different people go to, um, answer all those last minute questions. Make sure you have that meeting prior to the institute. Um, one of the things that I know can be frustrating is if you all meet as you're getting in the van on Friday morning um, and that's the first time you've, you've met face to face. So uh, give, them, give your team all that information. Again, review the purpose and what to expect. Um, have that team meeting. We encourage you to do some homework. Um, ask each of your team members to find five people, and it can be anybody, and just ask them the question, what are the biggest issues about alcohol and drugs affecting our athletics department? Write those down. It's confidential. That's really for your team. You don't have to turn that in. But that can really help inform your team discussions because then, you know, you'll have the, the views of 30 people um, when you sit down to meet during Apple. So some final uh, points. Your program proposals, if you're interested in presenting at this year's Apple, is November 1st by November 15th, that individual team member registration, your departmental baseline assessment, and um, it's not in here, but also if you're interested in our pre-conference, uh, that is also due November 15th. So uh, as I said, it would be about a half an hour of content. So we will post um, the slides and this um, audio recording. We'll make that available next week, and we will send out um, a link to that to all of the team contacts. And if folks have any questions, 
please feel free to use the chat function, which is in the bottom left corner. You can just uh, move over there and type it in and then hit enter. And we'll give folks a minute or two in case um, there were any questions. And I'm also trying to think of uh, other questions we've received in the past. I know sometimes people are uh, hesitant to type in. You can also just email us directly. Ah, for incidental charges. Can a staff member put a card down on behalf of students if they need that assistance? Yes, yes you certainly can. So that's where it is helpful to have all of the team together. So you can put that card down for each of the rooms. Thank you, that's a great question. Um, is there still a gear swap? Is there a t-shirt swap? Um, we have not decided uh, definitely on that. So for those of you that are new, we have on occasion been a t-shirt swap. Um, we're still looking at um, the Saturday night, Friday and Saturday night um, event. We will make sure we send that out to you uh, in advance. Um, a lot of schools when they've done that um, have asked the bookstore maybe to donate uh, new shirts. So we will let you know um, our final decision. I believe we, the last time we did not do that. Um, so we'll, we'll see if folks are really missing that as an opportunity, but we'll let you know in advance so that you have time to get shirts donated if that's what you'd like to do. You're welcome. We'll give one more minute in case people, I can't tell if people are typing or not. It's not like texting. Uh, just to see if anyone's got a question and putting that in. We're all looking at each other to see if there's other things we, uh, small details we wanted to add in. What was the answer to the incidentals? And I can type that in too. Um, yes, you can. Um, you can put down one card uh, for all of your students. And they will not pre-charge the card. Sometimes we've gotten that question as well. They're not going to pre-charge anything on it. It is truly just in case yeah. somebody wants to eat food or watch a movie. Yeah. Um, I think the biggest thing to just take away as well was um, just please Stay in communication with us and, and don't hesitate to ask questions. Give us a call, shoot us an email. We really are here to help and uh, this isn't your typical conference and so, um, you know, we, if you're not sure, hey, we want to get in at this time or leave early or I've got this student, like over communication is probably mm -hmm. the best thing. We, we, love, we love that. Um, and we are, we're here. No question is too dumb. If you think you have a dumb question, you don't. Um, and we'd rather you ask it and happy mm -hmm. to answer anything you have. And so um, please just keep in contact with us, let us know, and we know that students are going to back out at the last second um, and things are going to change and some staff member is going to leave and get a brand new job on January 1st because that's what's <laughs> happening. So just don't panic and work with us and yep. um, we will make it fabulous. We'll make it work. Um, so just as soon as if there are any changes, and again, you know, we'll have somebody who might get injured um, and has to switch out. The earlier you can tell us, um, the easier we can make those changes and make sure everyone has a great experience. Um, we love hosting and coordinating and planning Apple um, every year. It's our favorite time of the year. And we love being able to share the successes of other schools and introduce new schools to this model. So if you are a brand new school, do not feel overwhelmed. We are here to help. As Holly mentioned, just send us an email. We will get back to you um, as soon as we can. Um, generally, there's three of us checking the, the account. So we usually can get back to you uh, pretty quickly um, to answer any questions. Um, just let us know. We're really excited. And um, with that, I'm not seeing any other questions. So thank you so much uh, for your time. Again, we will um, download this uh, entire presentation and make that available. You should get an email next week.
Thank you so much. We look forward to seeing you in January.